Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to talk about creating text copy for user interface. Mobile apps and websites are 90% text. It means that the quality of text in the UI has direct impact on user experience. I want to show you three Figma plugins and ChatGPT trick that will help you create copy for your interface. And the first plugin is Lorem Ipsum. As you probably know, the Lorem Ipsum is a term that copywriters use when they describe placeholder text. And the Lorem Ipsum is typically used at early stages of product design process when we have a wireframe or row mockups and we're still playing with the copy for this mockup. So we have a general idea of the text that we want to have in this UI, but we still don't understand how much text we should put it here. And the Lorem Ipsum will help us to create right visual hierarchy of elements. So, I launched the plugin and I selected the section text, which is supposed to be a section for the blog post here. Let's generate two paragraphs of text. All right, the plugin generated two paragraphs of text and now what we can do, we can play with the paragraphs breaks here, like this, or maybe this. So it will be like three paragraphs. And we can also play with the size of the elements, for example, size of the text here. What it allows us to do is it allows us to calculate the number of characters that each line will have. For example, for the font inter with the font size 16, this will be the number of characters for the, this line. Or maybe we want to minimize the size of the text, like for 14, and see the, the text line will be different. So again, it allows us to play with the visual hierarchy and the styling of the text itself. The plugin can be used in two different ways. The first one I've just showed to you, and another way is when we select the content container. So you, you can see here, I selected this size of content container, and then I launch the plugin again, and I will use auto-generate. So the plugin promises to create the exact amount of text that will fit this contained frame. Let's do it. All right. So as you can see, the plugin generated the content that fill out this block. So we can do the same here. So I'm going to play with the properties of the content container. The next plugin on our list is called Content Reel. Content Reel is a collection of the UI text elements that allow us to fill out the UI that we've designed with the actual copy. For example, here you can see I have the timestamp that's supposed to be the time when event happened. But I don't want to write the actual copy here. I just want to use this plugin for this case. Let's find the time. And I want to use like this one. This format works well. If I don't like this, but this exact content, then I can click on this section again and the plugin will generate the content for the sections that we selected. The same approach can be used for other elements of this UI. For example, here is supposed to be, for example, a message that someone sent us. Let's search for the message and maybe we will, might want to use larger messages like this one. All right, this one looks good. But what I can do next, I can play with the actual message that the plugin adds. For example, I don't like the three rows of text. I want to make it two. Let's trim all the rest and see how our design looks like when we have two rows of text. And another great thing about this plugin, it also allows us to play with visuals. It contains a collection of things like avatars, so we can modify avatars on the fly. All right, the next one on our list, the plugin is called Typeout. And Typeout is the plugin that's a collection of the small text elements. And this plugin works well for smaller parts of the UI, such as success messages. For example, I don't want to imagine what our success messages will look like. Let's just dive into the plugin and choose the one that we like. For example, you all set looks good. The same approach can be used for the text copy for description. Let's search for the empty state and find something about our email maybe. Let's try email. All right, this one looks good. Lastly, it can be used for the label copy here. For example, I want to modify the this click me button to something different. Button text, something more general, I think, like OK or something like that. Yeah, OK looks good. So this is it. Lastly, I want to show you how you can use the power of ChatGPT to write the copy for your interface. The plugin can be used in this way. First, we need to write a prompt. 
and I will write write me five examples of call to action labels for email verified state limit the number of characters to 10 All right, the point here is like, we need to mention how many symbols the label will have. In our case, I mentioned that I want to have, see a label with 10 characters. The same approach can be used for writing a description for the messages like a success state, for example, write uh, confirmation All right, so we can simply copy and paste it, for example, here. So this is it. I will leave the links to all the plugins and this tool in the description. Thank you.